24-year-old Awami Davis has been found this week after being missing since the beginning of July. Awami, who's also been found alive and well, which begs the question what kind of evidence did the police have to arrest several people on suspicion of kidnap and murder? Detective Chief Inspector Nigel Penny from the Metropolitan Police's Specialist Crime Unit has said, This is the outcome we were all hoping and praying for. My team have been working around the clock to find a whammy and we are immensely relieved she has been found. I would like to sincerely thank the media and public for sharing appeals to find a whammy. Your help in cases like this is crucial and we are very grateful. A whammy went missing on the 4th of July from Essex. The investigation was later transferred from Essex Police to the Metropolitan Police after a lot of inquiries were going through the Met, but it also transpired that the Met actually came into contact with Awami on the very day that she was reported missing. But due to her not yet being added to the police computers as a vulnerable missing person, they were unable to identify that she was in fact reported missing and safeguard her. This incident was being investigated by the IOPC over the fact that the Met had come into contact with her hours after she was reported missing, but have now said that they won't be investigating because Awami was found safe and well in Hampshire. Essex Police Commander Paul Brogdon said, We know there have been concerns raised around the search for Awami. We, alongside our colleagues in Essex Police, will be carrying out a review of all of our actions from when Awami was first reported missing to ensure we have acted correctly and to identify any ways to improve our response to finding another missing to finding other missing people as i said five people were arrested and bailed in connection with her disappearance two on suspicion of murder and three on suspicion of kidnap but police said there was no evidence that she had actually come to any harm which again begs the same question as to what were they arrested on suspicion of murder and kidnap for if there was no evidence and why are they still on bail for the suspected offences and yes they are at the time of reporting this report still on bail as police confirmed that all five were released and were still on police bail with a decision on what will happen next following a full debrief the Metropolitan Police insists it will carry out a review of all of their actions from when Awami was first reported missing, regardless of whether the IOPC are investigating or not. Despite 118 reports of her sighting being made to police, it was the 118th that led to Awami being found. The IOPC even confirmed that the referral made to them over Awami's disappearance was a mandatory referral from the Metropolitan Police based on a death or serious injury report. So the police must not only have had evidence that the five people arrested had been involved in kidnapping and killing Awami, but also enough as evidence to suggest that she must have been dead but even now suggests there was no evidence that she had come to any harm. Very confusing, doesn't exactly make much sense. But then the police did issue the wrong person's image in the first appeal to the public. They didn't make that appeal until three weeks after she had been reported missing. They didn't pass the case to a specialist crime unit until August the 1st, more than three weeks after she was reported missing and they failed to search a house in Croydon that she was believed to have been at until August the 5th, one month after she was reported missing. As per normal, the Metropolitan Police making a complete pig's ear of an investigation. However, I, like many of you, must be glad that the young lady has been found safe and well regardless of what a shambles the investigation seems to have been.